going on everybody long time no see i am back i did do a couple things to the daily over here which i'll show you guys uh today's video though we're going to be pulling my driver's seat out um i now have heated seats in my daily driver i grabbed them from the junkyard but the bottom half of my driver's side heated seat does not work so i'm going to show you guys how you can diagnose that how you can fix it so on and so forth i'll show you how to remove the seat it's very very easy it's very quick um, the more in-depth process is definitely going to be repairing the heating element in the seat. Um, it's a little complicated, but we'll get it done. Hopefully. I hope so. Um, if not, I mean, worst case scenario, I just go grab another seat from the junkyard. It is what it is. But let me show you guys what I've done to this thing and, uh, we'll get the seat out and we'll get to figuring out why the bottom half is not heating. So guys, right, so here's my daily driver, my 2009 Subaru Impreza. Um, I did grab from the junkyard the OEM roof rack. As you can see, it does say Subaru right there. Well, Subaru emblem. Um, I really, really like the way this rack looks on the car. It definitely flows very nice with what I'm going for. Um, I want to get a fairing for the front over here, but I get that whenever. And then uh, most of the other stuff that I grabbed was all interior stuff. So as you can see, I now have vinyl seats, which is very, very nice. Um, I do have a dog, if you guys don't know that. It's in my older videos. But I do have a dog, and I had cloth seats before, and his hair just, like, sticks to the seats, and it's just terrible for me. Um, I did grab, obviously, I have heated seat switches now. I had blanks in there before. This was a base model car, so I grabbed the factory harness, the factory switches, the whole nine from a junkyard car. I wired it just like the factory does, which has one wire hookup over there. And then you got to run your harness, obviously, to both seats, to the switches. And um, in the fuse panel, there's a blank spot for a relay. You just pop a relay in and boom, you have power to your heated seats. So let's start by pulling the seat out. And uh, I'll show you guys how to dismantle the seats and not screw it up. I did practice on my original seat just in case I didn't know what I was doing. So I know this is going to come apart. I do know how it comes apart. So not too worried. But to start, we're going to have four bolts. There's going to be one down there, another one on the other side, and two more in the back. I'm going to yank this out really quick. If you guys do have airbags in your seats, I have an airbag over here. You're going to want to disconnect your battery. You don't want the airbag like exploding or anything. Definitely won't be a fun time. So let me get the battery off, get the seat out, and I'll see you guys inside with the seat. And we'll start taking it apart, figuring out why the bottom, bottom half is not working. The back half does work, but the bottom half does not. So we're definitely going to figure this out and uh, hopefully repair it. If not, I'm going to go to the junkyard and grab another seat. But hopefully we can get this done. Um, I'm very confident that I can solder this. So let's see what's up and what's wrong with it. And guys, I just want to say thank you for all the support. Um, I know I've been MIA for a long while. Um, that's just due to the fact that I haven't really done much with anything. Um, you know, I was just trying to pay off bills and stuff. I wasn't really spending money on the cars, but you know, it is what it is. The Jeep is actually currently back there. You guys can't see it, but it's back there. It's under a car cover, it's just kind of hanging out. Um, I did grab a couple things for that at the junkyard too nothing crazy i just grabbed the center console and my center console was like cracked so just you know just stuff like that just to fix stuff but i haven't modified anything on it it's, it's running absolutely great and uh yeah so let's uh get the seat out hey guys so here i have my seat we're gonna start by removing all of this stuff here this one has like a little tab that you gotta push in and it slides off this one has that cap and then it has a nut behind that cap and this just pulls right off there's various Phillips head screws around this trim piece. It's going to be different for whatever car you're working on, but this one, it has Phillips head screws and a couple clips, and then this will pull off. Same thing with the other side, but we have to remove the seatbelt buckle, which is a Torx bit. And uh, yeah, so once I get those off, then I'll show you guys actually how to remove the, the seat, and we'll deal with the wires, which are underneath the seat. But all we're trying to access is here. I'm not going to take apart this top. I'm just gonna unbolt this from the frame just so it's out of my way. There's no point to take this apart. There's nothing wrong with it. So I don't want a chance messing up the fabric. So we're just gonna be doing this right here with the problem side. So yeah, let me get that apart and I'll give you guys an update about the cushion. Guys, okay, so I'm down to this point where I got all the plastic side moldings off. They're actually all up there. Like I said, a couple screws, a couple clips, they will come off. 
obviously depending what you're working on yours might be a little bit different but now we are going to remove this torx bit bolt for the seat belt just because we need access to this bolt back here we're going to take both of these bolts out on both sides and this whole entire backrest is going to come off and then all we're going to have to work with is this right here which is going to be way more convenient but before we go ahead and we take any of this apart we need to actually take the seat and tip it upward like so and we have under here this like i said to you guys before this particular car has airbag in the seat so we have a plug for the airbag we have a plug for the heated seat and then we also have a seatbelt warning plug um the only wires that i'm really going to worry about here is for one the heated seat which is this guy right here and the airbag now you're going to want to remember where all these clips go there's a clip here and there's also a clip back here and uh, we're just going to unclip these we're going to unclip the actual plugs just so we have slack in the harness um when you do separate the top from the bottom this harness is going to come with the top half of the seat considering the airbags in the top half so you just want slack on all these wires and again too with the heated seats the bottom and top are actually separate from each other so i'm just going to unplug this one plug here just to give us a little bit of room um it does tie into one plug here but this is for your top half so bottom half top half we don't want this grabbing and ripping any wires out or anything because i know the top half works so let me get these harnesses off here and then we'll get the seatbelt off the back half off and then we'll work on the cushion guys yeah, so i got my whole harness off here like i said the front uh the bottom and the back are separate this is the back i believe this is the bottom i think the bottom gets the main harness like this um i'm unfortunately going to have to go through all of this wiring and figure out what is going on but yeah you want to separate all these this is for the airbag i also took this off all the clips are here and then i also took this off of here it was just wrapped around here just to expose the wires a little bit nothing crazy i'm going to take the back of the seat off now and then we'll get into tearing this cushion off the seat so you guys can see i have my multimeter in ohms right now and i'm currently ohming the back as you can see we have a 0 0.01 which means that we have a complete circuit right so when we have a circuit that is open we will read like that so if i connect these two guys together you see we read 0 0.00, 0 0.01, it's pretty much the same. You're obviously going to have a ohms if you're going through a harness, but all a heated seat is is one wire that continuously goes through a pad, and then it connects back to your plug. So you're pretty much just having a controlled, um, controlled, um, can't think of the word, controlled, uh i'm sorry guys <laughs> a controlled short that's the word that i'm looking for so that's why you get heat because it's a short when you short out wires they get hot so in other words if this wasn't connected like i said this is the back half that i know works so obviously you can see we have a connected circuit now i want to try to ohm the bottom half really quick just to see but I'm not too sure exactly how I'm gonna do that because I have three wires on this plug. So one of those wires actually goes to the bottom pad and then one actually goes to the top pad. So we gotta figure that out, but I wanna say that it's not gonna work because we're gonna have an open circuit here and not a closed circuit. So let me see what happens really quick. All right guys, so as you can see, we have two separate halves of the seat. We have our airbag harness, our top heated seat harness, which is perfect. That's exactly what we want. Um, they were just held in by some Velcro down here. The harnesses were just held there like that through that hole. And um, yeah, we're about to see about figuring out what is wrong with this side right here. This is the only wire we have on the bottom half besides the seatbelt wire. But this one you don't have to worry about because we're not going to remove it or anything like that. So it's not that big a deal. But um, yeah, let's get this cushion off and I'll show you guys how to do that exactly. This is just the back half of the cushion. It just folds down underneath. No big deal there. 
but yeah so it's really not too difficult to just to take apart your seat it's not crazy hard uh it's just a little time consuming but you guys know how it is with anything like that so now uh some seats have hog ties if you have hog ties you're gonna need new hog ties to um reassemble your seat this seat does have hog ties but not i'm not gonna touch them they're only in the middle of the seat like right here and right here on the front side i'm not gonna mess with that stuff I don't want to mess with it. Um, I don't want to have to re -hog tie it. What I need to do, I should be able to get access just by doing what I'm about to do, and that's taking all of these clips off. So this is a plastic clip. You just pull up on it and it folds over. Um, there's a couple more. There's one here. There's one here. There's one in the front, this long one. And then you have two more, which is one here and one there. And then once you do that, you'll have plenty of slack in the seat to where you can lift the cover up a little bit. And you can access the heating pad and that's what we're after we're actually going to pull the heating pad out and completely out and uh take a look at it so let me get this off really quick so i did find my brake it's back here you can see it's like burnt and i have two halves of the wire i know it's hard for you guys to see but you see that right there that's one half of the wire that's the other um this is going to be extremely hard to repair i honestly don't i can't make any guarantees to you guys that it's going to work but I'm going to give it a shot and see, um, mainly just because there is a bracket right by where this is like all charred. That's literally pieces of the wire. Um, there's a metal bracket there, so I don't want to like reconnect it and then have an issue, but I'm going to give it a shot and see what happens. I'm going to solder it and put some heat shrink on it. Maybe it'll work. Maybe it won't. But there's only one way to find out. So let's see what happens. All right, guys. So I used my soldering iron and I soldered back. I know it's hard to see in here. Uh, I soldered it back and I put heat shrink tubing on it. And um, I guess we'll see if it'll work um i did take ohms with the wires spliced and then i twisted twisted them together and i went from one end to the other and it did it did ohm full so that means that it was making connectivity now the next step is we we peeled all of this off to um access the the wires for that so we're gonna re-stick that with this stuff right here. I actually used this in my previous video for my headliner on the Jeep, but this is also gonna work for this. Um, we're just gonna spray the back of the pad and the front pad, and then we're gonna stick it back down, let it cure, put the whole seat back together, and we'll we'll see if the heated seat works or not. Um, I mean, there's only one way to find out, right? So let's get this done. Okay, guys, so I just sprayed the adhesive and as you can see, this is, you know, sticking. Obviously, you need to let that stuff dry. Um, I'm going to currently reassemble the seat. I've already reassembled the back half of the seat, as you can see right here. Um, I was a little bit worried about those metal bars, but I don't even feel them. So I think we're going to be okay. Um, just hopefully the heating element works, because it was a little bit sketchy. Um soldering that that close to my seat i really thought i was going to burn a hole or something but i i wound up being okay so let's finish putting this together we'll we'll plug it in just like this in the car just to see if it works um and then we'll go from there so that's what i'm going to do right now i'm going to finish putting the cover back i'm going to go out to the car hook the battery up plug this in see if it gets warm if it gets warm then i'll reassemble the rest of the seat and um it'll save me from buying another seat so that'd be nice but let's let's see what happens absolutely no shot guys like it works i can't believe it but it's it's warm i mean you guys are gonna have to take my word for it obviously you can't feel it but it's actually getting warm so that is insane that it actually worked um i'm gonna go and put the rest of the seat back together and should be good to go i mean let, let's see all right guys so I got the seat back in the car and uh, plugged back in, bolted in, everything readjusted. I don't know if you guys have the same issue like me, but when I like move my seat, 
I never feel like I could get it back where it was. I don't know if that's just me. Drop a comment below and let me know if you also have that problem. But yeah, so everything's working. Um, the Subaru unfortunately has an electronic throttle. So anytime you disconnect the battery, you have to do like a throttle relearn. So I've been out here for the past half hour doing a throttle relearn. I already took it for a test drive and everything. Everything's good. The heated seat works bottom and back. So that's a huge plus. It means I don't have to go get another seat, which saves me 45 bucks. Um, you know, 45 bucks, 45 bucks, but yeah, so pretty much just if you have this issue and it, this is going to pertain to any car, not just a Subaru, but this will also work on a Jeep. It'll also work on, you know, multiple cars. Um, you just have to find the break in the wire and then you need to strip both sides of that wire, twist them together and then melt some solder around it just to hold everything in place. You don't want to just twist it and then put some heat shrink over it and put it back. Um, you want to solder it. And I say that just to hold it together because it will fall apart from you sitting on it, moving around and everything. And then to restick your heating pad, you're going to use headliner adhesive. I personally use 3M, but you could use any headliner adhesive. It'll all pretty much do the same exact thing. And then just reassemble your seat how it was. It's really not that hard of a job, guys. Um, it can definitely save you a lot of money. I know the heating pads for this car, brand new from Subaru, are $186 a piece. So it's $186 for the bottom, $186 for the back, $186 for the passenger bottom and the back and so on and so forth. So just keep that in mind. You can fix these things. It just takes a little bit of patience and a little bit of the know-how to. But if you guys know how to solder, you can definitely get away doing this. But yeah, so I'm going to try to get more content out to you guys. Um, it just all depends if I have stuff to do. You know, I don't want to just do content on like random things like i want to make sure i'm actually doing something for you guys but just know i am still here um still listening to every one of your comments everything like that i have a couple of you that actually direct direct message me on instagram i really appreciate that i love communicating with you guys uh, if you guys ever have any questions for me definitely drop them in the comments dm me on instagram i'm more than happy to help you guys i'm more than happy to communicate with you if you want want to talk about anything you know just just hit me up on there or on here and uh yeah so i hope you guys enjoyed today's video and until next time i'll catch you in the next one peace